How to partition a disk in Windows Disk Management. I'm going to cover three scenarios. One, a new disk and one partition using all of the free space on that new disk. Two, a new disk but with multiple partitions. And three, shrinking an existing partition to make space for a new partition and then we create a partition in that free space. We're going to assume here that the disk is already added on the physical side or under the hypervisor. A word of caution, this can be a dangerous operation. We can accidentally delete a good partition. So you need to make absolutely sure that you are working on the correct partition and the correct disk. So the first scenario, a new disk with one partition using all the free space on that disk. We can see we have a new disk here with 100 gigabytes and it's offline and we can see that the space is unallocated. So the first step here is to bring the drive online. Right click on the disk and click online. It's now online. It says not initialize. So we initialize it. Right click on the disk, initialize disk, and it gives us a list of the disks to be initialized. We have one disk. We have a choice of partition styles, MBR or GPT. As a rule of thumb, if it's going to be a boot disk, use MBR. Otherwise, use GPT. Okay, the disk is online and initialized. So now we can create our partition in this empty space. So right click in the unallocated space and we click new simple volume. And we have this friendly wizard here. Next. And we can select the size of the volume and by default it's going to give us all the available space there and we're going to let it go for that default next and we can assign a drive letter you can change it to whatever you need here by default it's going to give you the next available letter and we'll take D and here we can format the partition we can select a file system but it's almost always going to be NTFS the allocation unit size here is a default and that size is 4K and the 4K default will let this partition be up to a maximum size of 16 terabytes. If we change the allocation unit size to 64K, that will let this partition go up to a maximum size of 256 terabytes. We are going to leave it at the default for now and we can change the volume label and let it perform the quick format and we will not enable file and folder compression here next and then we can see what we have asked the wizard to do and we click finish and the partition is formatted the second scenario is we're going to add multiple partitions to a new disk so we need to bring the disk online and we're going to need to initialize the disk and we're going to use GPT and if it was a bootable disk we would use MBR disk is online and we have some allocated space here I have a 100 gigabyte disk here and I'm going to partition it into two partitions one a 30 gigabyte partition and a 70 gigabyte partition so we're going to create the first partition right click new simple volume in this wizard we click next and it's asking for the volume size in megabytes so I have this calculator I'm gonna calculate 30 times 1024 and that gives 30720 that's the size in megabytes I'm going to put that in there next it's going to give us a drive letter of D, which we are going to take that. We can change it if we needed to. Next, format as NTFS, allocation unit size, default, because we're not going to expand this even close to 16 terabytes. But if you needed to expand it beyond that, then you might need to increase the size of the allocation unit size to 64K, which would let this be up to a maximum of 256 terabytes if you have that space. 
new volume name, hello world. So we have our 30 gigabyte partition D drive right there. So in this unallocated space, we'll create a new partition, same thing. And here it's going to ask for the simple volume size. We're going to want to use up the rest of this space here. So we will let it go with the default. And it's going to use the next drive letter E here. We could change that if we wanted to. And same thing here. I'm going to change this to a different volume label to discern the partitions. Next, finish. And we have our partitions we have D and E so the last scenario is we are going to shrink an existing partition and then add another partition in its space so for example here we have this D partition we're going to shrink it right click on it shrink volume and here it gives you the available space we can shrink the partition by and enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. So here we are going to put in an arbitrary number. You might need to calculate this differently depending on what you want. This is going to be 10 gigabytes. Like shrink. And here we have the unallocated space available now. So we can see we have D partition, which was 30 gigabytes. Now it's 20. And then we have this 10 gigabytes of unallocated space. So I'm going to create a new partition in this space. Right click, new simple volume, next. And we're going to let it use all of the space in this unallocated spot here. Next. Drive letter is going to be F because that's the next available letter. And here we go. Formatting. And we have a new partition. There we go. And so that is how to partition a disk in Windows Disk Management.